Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa issued Royal Order 14 of 2022, restructuring the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, chaired by His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa. The panel includes the Education Minister as Deputy Chairman, the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, President of the Crown Princess Court, Sheikha Asil bin Khalifa al-Khalifa, Ahmed Khalid al-Arifi, Ali Habib Qasim, Dr. Maryam Hassan Mustafa Mohammed, and Noor Ali Sultan Al Khalif as members for a renewable four year term. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander, paid a visit to the BDF General Headquarters. He was welcomed upon arrival by the Commander in Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The National Security Advisor, Royal Guard Commander, Major General, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Royal Guard Special Force Commander, Lieutenant Colonel, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General, Dia bin Saqr Al Naimi, and senior officials. During a meeting with the senior officers, His Majesty the King reiterated his pride in the BDF and its courageous personnel, commending their remarkable efforts in protecting national achievements. He expressed thanks to the military and civil medical and administrative crews for their tireless humanitarian efforts in braving successfully the coronavirus pandemic. His Majesty the King congratulated the BDF athletics team on their historical accomplishments in the military marathon championship, which was hosted by Peru, describing it as an added achievement to the kingdom's track record in various fields. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's unwavering keenness on security and stability in the region and the whole world, wishing all the BDF personnel further success and continuous progress and prosperity to Bahrain. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, held talks at Marrakesh with the Minister of Foreign Affairs, African Cooperation and Moroccan expatriate Nasser Burita during Dr. Al Zayani's participation in the ministerial meeting of the Global Coalition to Defeat ISIS, hosted by Morocco. During the meeting, the Minister of Foreign Affairs praised the historical brotherly relations between Bahrain and Morocco in all fields and implementation of the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI. He also stressed Bahrain's keenness and its constant endeavor to develop and strengthen relations of cooperation and joint coordination between the two countries at all levels. For his part, the Moroccan minister affirmed his country's pride in the close brotherly relations that the bind the two brotherly countries and peoples and the development they are witnessing in all fields, praising the significant positions of Bahrain and its constant support for Morocco in all fields, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. The meeting also discussed the close brotherly relations between the two countries and ways to enhance bilateral cooperation in various fields, intensify joint coordination and unify positions towards various various issues in regional and international forums. Following the meeting, a joint statement was issued in which the two ministers affirmed their pride in the relations of cooperation and solidarity between the two brotherly countries, thanks to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Majesty King Mohammed VI, and their quest to continue developing those relations and advancing them to higher levels. The Moroccan minister reiterated Morocco's firm position under the leadership of His Majesty King Mohammed VI in supporting Bahrain in the face of any interference in its internal affairs and any attempt to to undermine its security, stability and national unity. For his part, the Bahraini minister reiterated Bahrain's supportive position for the Moroccan Sahara, which culminated in the inauguration of a general consulate of Bahrain in the city of Ayoun in the Moroccan Sahara on December 14, 2020, noting that this position continues within the framework of the United Nations and other international and regional organizations and forums. The two ministers reviewed the course of bilateral relations between the two countries and means to develop them in accordance with the vision and directives of 
of the monarchs of the two brotherly countries. The two ministers stressed the need to activate the Memorandum of Understanding signed on February 27, 2018 between the Moroccan Academy for Diplomatic Studies and the Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies by implementing its requirements, especially with regard to the exchange of visits and participation in training courses and workshops organized by the two academies. The two ministers also reviewed the political and security situation in the Arab region and stressed the importance of joint Arab action in strengthening the capabilities of Arab countries, maintaining their security and stability, and achieving sustainable development for their countries. The two ministers emphasized the centrality of the Palestinian cause to the Arab nation and its priority in the foreign policy of the two countries following the directives of His Majesty King Mohammed VI and His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa and their strong adherence to the legitimate right of the Palestinian people to establish their independent state on the borders of June 4, 1967, with East Jerusalem as its capital, in accordance with the internationally agreed two state solution and relevant international resolutions. In this context, Dr. Al Zayani praised the prominent role played by His Majesty King Mohammed VI, chairman of the Al Quds Committee. The two ministers also valued the ongoing regular constellation, constellation between Morocco and Bahrain and their affirmed keenness to intensify joint coordination between the two countries within the framework of existing mechanisms or international forums. The Telecommunications Regulatory Authority confirmed the numerous contributions of Bahraini women in the development of digital transformation in the Kingdom of Bahrain, highlighting its role in providing development opportunities for women in the telecommunications field. And to speak more about that, we are joined on the phone by the General Director of Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, Mr. Philip Marnock. Hello, Mr. Marnock. Tell us about how you value women's advancement in digital transformation. Good evening. Thank you very much for, for having me. For us, you know, half the world is women. What we need to do is make sure we can utilize all of the talent that's available, trying to encourage everybody to get more into ICT. For us, we need to make sure there are no barriers to anyone wanting to take part. So we've been engaging with schools and other places to try and encourage people at a young age, particularly women, to come into this field, because that will help us make sure that everything we do in ICT is very human-centric and for society as a whole. I think for us it's really important that we just enable everybody to participate and make sure there is absolutely no barrier whatsoever from anybody, men or women, really taking part in this. Historically, women haven't been really active and we've got to try and encourage people, which is why we're trying to get there in the youth market and try and encourage more and more people to take part. Can you elaborate on TRA's role in supporting women in the telecommunication field? I mean, we've been working, we, we really support what the Supreme Council for Women has been doing in Bahrain. It's really made a big difference. What we mean is reaching out to people, actually making sure in our own staff, about 40% of all the people employed by, employed by the TRA are women. What we need to make sure is that we reach to them, we go into schools, we, en we engage with colleges, we get people involved. We've been doing with the cybersecurity work we've been doing, trying to get more and more women engaged in everything we're doing and make sure, as I said before, there's absolutely no barriers to how people can work and there's no barriers to their promotion prospects when they join us. And that was the General Director of the Telecommunications Regulatory Authority, Mr. Philip Marnick. Thank you for joining us. The U.S. Embassy in Manama hosted a public reading of students' literary works developed and written under the mentorship of Professor Brett Lott, Professor of English at the College of Charleston. Professor Lott visited Bahrain to conduct a creative writing program, a collaboration among the U.S. Embassy, the College of Charleston, and the University of Bahrain. The reading was organized in coordination with the Bahrain Writers Circle at the Westin Hotel. Around 40 invitees from the Bahrain Writers Circle and guests of the Young Writers attended the event and listened to readings of the students' literary works. The, the mission of the U.S. Embassy is to bridge these cultures and to create community and create relationships. And that's the, the goal of all of this. In, our, in our, our particular program, it's to do so through creative work, through stories and poems, and thereby reaching each other. And we benefit, as an exchange, we benefit just as much as we hope students here benefit. We have a terrific batch of students. Every, every year, this is the fifth year, it's a different group. Mm -hmm. You know, it's different students, but um, as the, the program has been growing, not, not in particular size of students, but in the number of students that are applying. So at the University of, of Bahrain, they are 
students are getting to know that there's, hey, there's a special program happening. So this year's crop is um, 11 students out of about 55, 56 students. And so we're, we're just excited about how um, popular this program is becoming. Honestly, this, is an, this has been an amazing experience for me. I have changed so much about my style of writing and even my style of reading where I look forward to new experiences and trying new experiences in my writing as well as in my normal everyday life. <laughs>